What would you like to drink? He didn't even ask if I was hungry. He just assumed I was. I'm not going to let you go hungry. I mean, you didn't even have to come here. And if I like being here, then visit me the correct way like next time. It's not like you even invited me. True, but only... If I behave, darling, I think you know what attracts you to me. Well, if you think it's a bad idea, I think it's a bad idea only if it would make you feel bad. Orange juice, by the way. Thank you. Huh? I'd like some orange juice. Do you feel bad with me here now? No. With you here, I feel more alive than I have in a long time. Then you know how you'll feel when I come here again, unless you'd prefer to catch me off guard like you did yesterday. I didn't catch you off guard. You invited me. As if I could turn you away after reading the message from you. You know deep down, you wanted me to invite you. You can say all you want that you meant me to talk to you, but we both know you wanted more than... Well, now we have 30 minutes, maybe even less. My grandma will leave for work soon. At my house, we wouldn't have to wait for anyone to leave. I'd better get dressed. Let me know if you'd like me to help you out of that nightgown. Hi, Jeanette. This is Tessa. Haven't heard from you in a while. What are you up to these days? If you want to catch up, we could hang out anytime. I'll even give you a haircut free of charge, or just a trim, if that's all you want. Please call me. Miss you, little sis. Jeanette, this might confuse you that I'm calling from Tessa's phone, but I left mine at home when I rushed over here. To Rudy's. Whatever he told you, please remember who you're dealing with. He doesn't want to just hang out with you. He just wants to use you to get over Tessa. But you can't do anything for him. Tessa believes he only used her to get over you. I know that with the huge heart you've got for him, you want to think things could be different. But he'll always... Jeanette, please hear me out. I think I just spotted you with Rudy, and please pick up. You look like you're having a good time with him. Wait, he just whispered in your ear? You're in more danger than... Jeanette, it's Tessa. This isn't jealousy. I don't think you understand. Behind all Rudy's joking, he's serious. He's not going to let up. Okay, did you see us? We're at Disco's. Okay, Rudy just looked over here. Wow. I see you want this justice, but you're falling for his tricks. Don't you see this isn't fair for you? You can say this isn't my business. You're leaving? I can't watch this happen. Tane looked at Lee. Hey, Tessa and I drove past Rudy's house just now. Did something Tessa or I say finally get to you? I hope so, because you've already left, thank goodness. You don't really owe us anything. I don't want to know. Rudy! I can dress myself. What are you doing out? What am I doing outside my kennel? You're a little demeaning in the morning, aren't you? I don't know what you were up to, but I got bored. I'm pretty sure Grandma left a while ago. I can pick my own outfits without your help. But you didn't. I'll wait. Thanks.